I have COVID right now and I don't feel well, so I'm going to binge watch Downton and knit a therapy cat. For the therapy cat, you're going to need a size 6 weight yarn. I used Bernay blanket or Bernat blanket, and the solid color is in that spreckle. But for the face, I used a black scrap yarn. For the nose, eyes, and whiskers, it's fiber filler, size 10 double pointed needle, scissors, and a tapestry needle. Here I'm going to start with the head and I'm going to cast on eight stitches and divide these evenly onto three needles. The first needle with three stitches, the second needle with three stitches, and the third needle with two. This is one of my favorite episodes. I'm at the end of season two, and I love to binge watch Downton and Nip. Can you manage without your stick? You are my stick. Hmm. We were a show that flopped. Don't be. It wasn't anyone's fault. If it was, it was mine. And then Cousin Violet came to me. Told me to marry you. When was this? A while ago. When we knew I would walk again. Classic granny. Continue increasing every other row and knitting every other row even until you finish row nine and then you'll begin on row ten to work on the ears. Come along Charlie. It's nice and as your grandmother. Perhaps you could call me Gran. He's a stout little chap, isn't he? And so like Charles. I thought it when we were last year. I know what was said at the time, and Mr. Bryant's sorry for it now. I could see he was just like... Okay, on round 10, you're going to knit the first 16 stitches, and then the next four stitches you're going to knit in the front and back of each of those stitches to increase by four. And then you're going to be working on those four increased stitches to create the ear shape. Better come. She's worse. Given her the epinephrine. Doctor? Please. No. What does that mean? It's a hemorrhage of the mucous membranes. So it's not unusual. Now that you've knit in the front and back of these four stitches and you have eight stitches now, you're going to turn your work to the pearl side and you're going to then take a spare needle and you're going to also use the needle in your right hand. You're going to purl your first stitch onto the needle on the right, and then you're going to slip the next stitch onto your spare needle, which is then going to be held in the front. Of you. And you'll knit, I'm sorry, you'll purl the next stitch onto your right hand needle, then slip the next stitch onto the spare needle, next purl onto the right needle, slip the next stitch onto the spare needle, purl one more stitch onto the right needle, and then slip the next stitch onto that spare needle. Then you're going to turn your work onto the right side, which is the knit side, and you're only going to work on the, the, next, the following four stitches. Don't worry about the uh, needle in the back. You're not going to touch that right now. You're going to knit the t first two stitches together. I've relied on your support for too long to and then you're going to knit the next two stitches together. You've just decreased two stitches. You're going to turn your work. On which subject? 
And then you will purl those two stitches together with the right hand needle. Turn your work. And then have a, uh, create a long yarn tail, like 16 inches, and feed that yarn tail through that last stitch all the way through. And you're going to use that yarn tail later to uh, give more shape to the ear when you're finishing. Now I'm going to knit four more stitches onto this needle that has the spare stitches, and then work the right ear, just as I had done for the left ear. Row 11, you're going to knit the entire row of the 40 stitches, including the slip stitches that are behind the ears. my life without Charlie. You're not having him. As long as you're sure. You say there can be better for him, but what's better than his mother's love, fancy me that? I'll write and tell them. You agree with me though, don't you? Once you get to row 12, you're going to start making bobbles, which will be the pause. It's essentially increasing one stitch into six stitches by knitting in the front and back of one stitch three times. And uh, it's really not as difficult as it looks on the video here. I think, one, I had COVID and I just wasn't being clear about my knitting, I think. I was really into Downton. And also, I had plastic needles, which I don't really recommend when you're knitting with a polyester because it gets really slippery. I plight thee my truth. As a symbol of all we have promised, as a symbol of all we have promised, and all that we share, and all that we share. It therefore gives me great pleasure to say you are now husband and wife together. I keep forgetting Carson's ill. Mrs. Hughes says he's much better. I really want Bates. He'd gone out earlier. He's in the dressing room. He went up with your evening shirt. Got it. It's other time. Actually, can you stay a moment? I was trying to think how to contrive a meeting, and here you are. I'm glad Lady Grantham's better. Truly. And don't worry. There's 
No harm done. No harm done yet. I'm almost packed. And I've given him my notice. To finish the bobble or the pause, you're going to knit the first stitch of the bobble. I know only that I am now who I was meant to be. You'll take that stitch that's now on your right needle and put it back on the left needle. And then you're going to slip the next five stitches over that first stitch. Make sure to snug the, that first stitch tight so that the other stitches can come off it easily. Mr. Bates, you've waited long enough to be together in your life. And now that we're man and wife, I mean, that'd be enough. Just for this one night. to ashes, dust to dust. Sure of the certain hope of a resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, we shall change our vile body that it may be like unto his glorious body, according to the mighty working, whereby he is able to subdue all things to himself. Amen. 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 to get moving if we're to be back there before they arrive. Mrs. Patmore and Thomas will go ahead in the trap. They'll sort it out between them. Mm. I've no doubt Thomas will have everything sorted out. I'm sorry, Mrs. Hughes, but it's no good thinking that we'll get shot at him now. Why doesn't that come as a surprise? Now that the front paws are finished, you're going to knit so even nice for rows 16 through 24, and then you'll start the bobble stitch sequence for the back paws, starting on row 25. Certainly you can. Respects to Miss Dwyer. I does see Sybil. Lady Sybil. Oh, what's the point in all that nonsense? I suppose you'll go to Dublin now. Isn't that your plan? In a day or two. Mama is well again, and I see no reason to delay. <laughs> This is as bad as that. I'm so sorry. I don't know, but thank God he has. And he's confident? He seems to be. You know, lawyers are always confident before the verdict. It's only afterwards they share their doubts. I'm not sure such things matter when it comes to murder. I think it's loud. Because you want to text So now I'm starting the back pause with the bobble pattern just as I did with the front paws. Why didn't you have a loader? Barnard would have found you one. I'm not very good at it. They saw double guns and I don't want a witness. I'm a witness. Then please don't spread the word of my incompetence. I never know which is worse. The sorrow when you hit the bird or the shame when you miss it. Thank you for intervening back there. 
before I said something rude. He does rather beg to be teased. The awful truth is he's starting to get on my nerves. Still, you're not the person to burden with that. You're still going to marry him, though? Of course. Why wouldn't I? Huh. I think I might have got that one. <laughs> you must promise faithfully to lie when they ask you how I did. <laughs> Daisy, you've got a visitor. I was visiting the grave. I thought to myself, why not go and see her now? Take William's blessing with me. Um, why not go and sit for a moment in the servants' hall? We're sending out the shooting lunch. As soon as we're finished, Daisy can bring you a cup of tea. I'm sure Mrs. Hughes won't mind, will you, Mrs. Hughes? Indeed, I will not. This way. Well, he's here now. So I think I should make things clear. Don't, Daisy, please. William wouldn't thank you for it. He won't thank me for bamboozling his old dad, neither. Now, I know you're going to say no, but I was just passing and I suddenly thought, why don't we go for a drive? Like we used to. I don't think I should. I really can't spare the time if you want this, Mary. I, I warn you, even my patience has its limits. Mary, can I help? After today, I won't insult you by asking what you mean. You don't have to marry him, you know. You don't have to marry anyone. You'll always have a home here as long as I'm alive. Do you recall a Turkish diplomat who stayed here before the war? I think I can be relied on to remember any guest who is found dead in his bed next morning. Mm. Okay, the back paws are finished. So all the difficult pieces are done. The ears are finished. There's the front. And then all four paws. So we're going to continue now doing decrease rounds until we're finished with row 33. And then we're going to stuff the body with fiber film. Do you understand? Yes, I really do. I still can't believe it. Well, I'm afraid you must. We'll need you to write a letter to the Home Secretary and Mr. Shaw. I'll leave for London at once and put it into his hand myself. He's a liberal, isn't he? Is he? He's a decent man. I'm so glad you're here. And I feel somehow we were all of us part of each other's story for a while. And, and now that story is at an end. In what way? Well, Matthew doesn't want to live here. And I'm moving away soon. Okay, I just finished row 33, and there's 24 stitches on the needles. And keep the stitches on the needles while you stuff the body with the fiber film. Why? I thought you'd cheer him up, give him something to live for. You did all this when you didn't even like him. No, I did like him very, very much. Everyone liked our William. Oh, so you married him to keep his spirits up at the end? I suppose I did, yes. Oh, forgive me, but that doesn't sound unloving. To me, that sounds as if you loved him a great deal. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mama. I've been outside. I was looking. What was she doing? Lending in the fire. 
and suffering. No, she shouldn't be here at this hour. Why isn't Thomas on duty? Yeah, I don't need you to tell me the world is falling about our ears. Is there any news on Bates? Not yet. Murray has a meeting with the Home Secretary later today. We should know something then. I'm surprised there isn't more in the papers. The Earl's valet to swing and so on. But I seem to be anything. I'm nothing about you. I quite agree, and I can't enlighten you. Is that why you're here? Well, not exactly. I wanted to talk about... Uh, okay, so the once the fiber fill is in the body, you're going to work on the face and embroider it. And I really apologize, and I'm blaming it on COVID, but I filmed embroidering the face twice. <laughs> the first time I did it right and then when I was loading it onto the from my phone to the computer I deleted the video and so then I filmed it again and when I filmed it that time I filmed it backwards so all you were seeing was my shirt and I just didn't have it in me to redo the video a third time I'm just so worked but if you read what's here on the written part Hopefully that'll give you an indicator on how the embroidery is supposed to work and I hope that you can understand everything that was written. So I must bring the story. Now you're going to be closing the body of the cat. You just have a few more rows to do and when you get down to the last row of eight stitches you're going to cut a long yarn tail and you're going to feed that yarn tail through the eight stitches by just slipping each stitch and pulling the yarn tail all the way through. That way when you pull the yarn it'll close the whole opening. Stay, you must sack Carlisle. It isn't worth buying off a month of scandal in the middle of lifetime of misery. <sighs> when is he due back? Tomorrow. He and Aunt Rosalind's very return. And here she is. I did my face last. Isis. Good dog. Isis. Now it's time to take Good any dog. of the loose yarn tails and feed them through a tapestry needle, close any of the openings, like I'm closing the back opening here, and then I'll have to do the same to the front for the first row. And next I will be lining the ears with a slip stitch to give it more volume and more shape. You shouldn't have gone to all this trouble. Not for me. No? Not when you're the nearest thing to a child of mine left on. I don't deserve it. Not when I were only married to William for a few hours. You were there, you saw it. You may not know this, Daisy. But William had three brothers. The wretched animal I told Mike. Oh, he's a good kid. I went back and found her now. Go first thing once you're free. And just pray nothing's happened for your own sake. Do you think that was William? <laughs> Who else could it have been? Who else would have known you'd been asked to the farm? That's true. So, will you go? I feel I should, don't you? Oh, I think so. Mm -hmm. So I just bear my fingers. special to anyone. 
percent William. That's right. I like having long yarn tails because you can clean up, see that gap right there? I'm just going to clean it up by cinching the two stitches between the gap uh, together to make it tighter. And now I'm going to slip stitch stitches around the ear to give it shape. I Well, you do all these very well, eh? What in God's name happened to you? I've been looking for a dog. A tip for the shaping of the ear with the slip stitch is have the side that you're working on be the right side. So I'm working on the right side right now and going up towards the tip of the ear. And when I get to the tip of the ear, I'm going to turn it around so that I'm working on the right side again. That way the stitches will look uniform and it's easier to work with the yarn that way. The main thing is she's home and happy. I could walk to the station. I walked here after all. I want to talk while we go. If you're my daughter, you must allow me to give you advice. I suppose. Well then. If you're not content with the way you're treated, don't sulk and answer back. Tell them. They wouldn't listen. I oh, don't know. You haven't given them the chance. Go to Mrs. Pratmore and explain to her why you think you're worth more than you're getting. Make your case. I think so. I know what I have to say to him. It's time. I wish you'd take my advice and fight for her. But I know you won't. I don't expect you to understand. Well, that's good, because I can't. And please, don't invoke the name of that sweet dead girl again. I've always wanted to see America, so at least I've got a plan. I suppose so. I still can't be glad you'll be leaving here. But it's good news that you won't be casting off entirely. It's only a thing. I know. Just so as you know, you're highly valued by all of us. Both of you. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I'm going to blame it on COVID, but I tried twice to film this knitting of the tail. It's the easiest portion of the pattern, so I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to do it. But if you can't, please message me and I will help you get through this and you'll get the tail done and it'll look great. So good luck with that. Yay, I'm so glad you did it. Congratulations. Wow, thanks so much for sticking around through the entire video. I really appreciate it. And I hope you were able to create your own therapy kitty. If you want to purchase a PDF version of this pattern that's written in more detail than what was on this video, you could go to my Etsy store at thek4project.etsy.com and a portion of the profits goes towards animal welfare to help animals in need and find our furry friends forever homes. So thank you.